Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today, I'd like to show you how to make tallow lotion bars. If you've been on my channel before, you'll know I'm a huge fan of grass-fed tallow. I'll link some videos below where I talk about the benefits and uses for grass-fed tallow, why it's so amazing and why I like it so much. But for now, let's jump right into this recipe, and then afterwards I'll talk a little bit more about how you can use lotion bars and the benefits of having them compared to some other forms of moisturizers and all that good stuff. So these are really easy to make. We're going to start off by creating a double boiler. I have a regular double boiler here, but if you don't own one, no big deal. You can easily make one by using a heat safe container like a glass pitcher in a pan of water. If you are using glass, just make sure that you have a cloth or something underneath it if it's sitting directly in the pan, and that way it'll make it less likely for the glass to break. So you'll have a double boiler situation with some water down below and I'm bringing that to a simmer. And then in the top of the double boiler, I'm going to add my different oil and fat ingredients. So we're gonna start off with a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. I'm using the virgin unrefined coconut oil since that has the best benefits. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of shea butter, a half a cup of grass-fed tallow, there will be a link in the description box below where I show you how to render your own tallow as well as a place to buy it if you're not able to render it yourself. And then I'm also going to add half a cup of beeswax. And then I'm just going to let everything melt here in this double boiler until it's liquid, stirring it to combine it. Alright, now that everything is completely melted and combined together, we're going to go ahead and remove this from the heat. And then I like to let it cool for a little bit before adding the essential oils. And then while it's still warm enough to be nice and liquid, I'm going to add 12 to 24 drops of essential oils and you can adjust that amount depending on a couple things, how strong your essential oils are, if you want it to be a stronger smelling lotion bar or a milder smelling one, things like that. Since fall is coming, I'm using this blend from Plant Therapy called Maple Leaf. It's one of my most favorite blends from them. They came out with it last year for the first time, I believe, and they brought it back again this year in time for fall, so I'm so excited about it. It's such a beautiful scent. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I think 24 drops is what I'll do. And then just stir that so that the essential oils are well combined. And then it's time to go ahead and put it into our molds. So I'm using these silicone molds that could also be used for soap bars or something like that. So they're a really nice size. And since they're silicone, it'll be easy to pop the bars out. I have them sitting on a nice flat tray so that I can easily move them to the freezer. So let's go ahead and pour this into the molds. Okay, and then we're just going to move these to the freezer and let them solidify. All right, so now the lotion bars are completely solidified. So I took them out of the freezer and it's time to pop them out of the molds and give them a try. So they come right out. And depending on how long they were in the freezer, you might have to let them warm up a little bit before they're able to use. I had these in my freezer for about a half an hour and that seemed like the right amount of time to get them solidified without being frozen solid and too cold to use. So to use them, you just rub them on your hands a little bit and the warmth of your hands starts to melt the ingredients just enough so that you get a light layer on your hands. And once you've got the amount that you want, then you just rub it into your hands and you're good to go. So this is a really great way to enjoy the benefits 
of tallow and the other moisturizing oils in there in a really convenient, fast, and easy way to use it. I have another recipe where I show how to make tallow balm, which is great for when you want just pure tallow with a little bit of olive oil to soften it, but you know, by far mostly tallow. I also have another recipe that is a pumpable lotion made with tallow, and that one you do have to use some ingredients like emulsifying wax and different things like that, and it is super convenient, but if you don't want to compromise in that way with using emulsifying wax and those types of ingredients, then a lotion bar is a really nice way to be able to get a really convenient way to use tallow to moisturize with no compromising, you know, all pure, perfectly natural ingredients. You can just keep your lotion bar out on a counter, maybe in a little dish next to where you wash your hands. That way after you're done washing your hands, you can grab it and moisturize real quick. Makes it very easy. I'll have links down in the description box below where you can find all the ingredients and the mold and everything that you need to be able to make this yourself. Make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know if you have ideas for other videos that you'd like me to make other things that you want me to show you how to do. I'll also have a link below to the blog post with a full written article and then a printable recipe card if you want to grab that. Also check out that description box for some free ebooks and other goodies. Okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like to see how to make tallow lotion bars. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient-dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.